only when i became immobile i came to know about the importance of actually being outside for the last 5 years aaron raja singh from chennai in southern india has been virtually housebound he has a rare genetic condition which causes asymmetrical growth and his right leg is now more than five times its normal size, weighing around 100 kilograms or 220 pounds. My life uh, right now is actually restricted to this room. It's a 10 by 10 square feet room and I mostly lie on the bed because my body is an art made by God. His inability to leave the house is also affecting his business. I started my business in 2006. It's a small IT firm and the name is Kendrick Technologies Private Limited. When I was mobile, I was able to set up an office and have employees and I was able to go to the office every day and was able to manage everything. Uh, due to this health condition, I was not able to go to my office and work, so I started working from my home and slowly, at one point of time, it's like I work only from my home. So this makes me like I'm not in control of the work that I'm doing. From the time he was born, uh, this type of variation between the two legs uh, were there, but it was quite manageable. When he started attending the school, he was uh, walking with uh, some special shoes to adjust the height of the other leg. Growing up, I started walking, which never, nobody actually thought that I would be walking, but I adapted myself and then I was walking. As a student, when he was young, he was a very brilliant child, but now uh, his mobility is very much restricted owing to his physical problems. Doctors didn't know what was causing his condition and decided to see how it might develop. As Aaron was still mobile, Amputation of his leg was decided against, but now his condition is desperate. Today, Aaron is going to the hospital for a checkup. One of the few times he gets to leave his house. It's been about uh, five years that I've been out of my 10 by 10 square feet room, and now I'm actually going out. It feels uh, like I'm excited and I'm going to see the doctors, and I hope things for me will get better from now on. How are you? Fine. So, it's been a year since I've seen you last. What things have changed and how things are progressing? The leg, uh, there is pain in the leg. Okay. And with respect to mobility, it is uh, very less. So it's less than what it was before. What Harun has developed is a genetic problem, meaning there is a mutation in the genes which is predisposing him to have a very asymmetrical growth, meaning one part of the body is growing much more compared to the other part. We call it a segmental overgrowth syndrome. Having said this, it's a very rare condition. As we can see here, that's the right part of his lower limb, which we can visibly see that's a very asymmetrical. The right lower limb is much bigger compared to the left lower limb. Uh, similarly, we do have the other scan pictures which confirmed, and here we can see not just his bones, but also his soft tissue. So we can clearly see that there is an asymmetry as we can see in him here. It's the growth of the bone, the tissue underneath, everything together which is contributing to the excess growth of the particular part of the body. As I said, the treatment is at present very limited, but research is going on worldwide, particularly in one of the uh, universities uh, in UK, Cambridge University. On the way home from the hospital, the ambulance makes a detour. Uh, it's like five years after that I'm actually seeing this beach. Now I'm feeling the breeze. It's nice. I need a lot of people, help and an ambulance to come over here. Seven years ago, I used to ride my motorbike and used to come here. And it was not a big thing, but now it has become a great deal for me. Aaron hopes that by getting his story out, doctors somewhere in the world might be able to help him. He's also launched an online appeal to raise funds for specialised equipment to aid his mobility. So now here he is seeking the society's help to get back to his mobile condition again because the normal wheelchairs can't even bear his weight. So he is not able to go out. So that is worsening his uh, condition more. So it is a really big appeal from friends like us. Having a wheelchair and the van would actually change my life in a big way. I could be mobile. I, would, I could have human interactions 
I could uh, just be like other people. When I received the wheelchair and van, the first place that I would be going is my mother's graveyard. So that is where I will start my journey again. My hopes for the future is bright that I would be able to be a successful businessman as well as a good person and maybe I would be an inspiration to a lot of people.